So today we're talking about glasses. Um, I decided to put together a video about safety glasses because I had some questions about them and I really didn't find a ton um, regarding lens color selection um, in reference to uh, the action shooting sports, be it either USPSA or 3-Gun. Um, basically all the information I found out there was more directly aimed at trap and skeet uh, shooters. Uh, nothing wrong with that because it's still a shooting sport and uh, the information is going to apply. Um, so I'm just going to distill it down as quick as I can, all the information I found and what I found works for me. Um, okay, so first I'm going to just go over the safety features really quick. Um, essentially any safety glasses you buy in a store are probably going to be just fine. You're looking for that ANSI or ANSI rating. Um, that's the impact resistance. Um, there's the commercial standard and then there's a mil spec standard, which is uh, typically better, um, more resistant to damage. Um, but either one is going to be just fine. Uh, most people typically go towards the uh, mil spec um, for shooting sports. Why not, right? Um, so with the glasses, you know, the safety thing, like you said, you're looking for that certification on the package. You know, you can get a pair like this one. I think these were like $5 or less. Um, they're going to protect you. Um, they're just not super fancy. The lenses aren't as clear, crisp, they get scratched easier, etc. Um, or you can go up to, you know, a couple, uh, over a hundred dollar Oakley's. Um, but, you know, you can buy whatever you want. So, some other things about them. A lot of times safety glasses or specifically shooting glasses you're going to see are going to have a very minimal frame. So even on this cheap pair, the frame is very minimal. So you don't have any obstruction in your uh, peripheral vision um, covering a lot of the, uh, the whole orbit. You know, the eye socket itself, wrap around, that's key. Um, so those are the things you're looking at in your safety glasses in general. You'll see some military style or even like motorcycle style that are more goggle like where it's a heavy frame all the way around you're not going to really want that uh, because you're going to have this blocked out section of your peripheral vision um, for so that's going to mess up your target transitions uh, seeing targets in general it's just not going to be a great choice um, okay so now let's move on to color um, you know we talked enough about the basics of the glasses big lenses curve around blah 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 um so, clear lenses, obviously your basic, um, low light conditions, low to no light conditions, so you can see everything that much better, um, nothing really wild there. Um, in this case here, I've got some uh, lenses for this set here, which I'll get to it at the end, um, which are more like sunglasses for very high sun situations. Um, next, you can see we've got yellow and then uh, red and more of a pinkish red. So what the different lens colors do for you is basically change the light contrast that's coming into your eye. Um, both or all these, these three colors here really make the, your vision crisper. That's the best way I can put it. The, you see borders around the targets better. You see your hits better. Everything just looks crisper. Um, it doesn't. You don't really see everything yellow or red or pink. I mean, you you do, but you don't really notice it as much as you notice the crispness. Um, in the reading I did, I found that um, there are even more colors, more of a purple, and then you can get blue. And um, for trap and skeet, they'll select their lens color based off of. Uh, the background they're shooting on. Is there a lot of trees or is it open sky? Everything like that to make those clay targets, those bright orange clays, really stand out in the uh, in the sky. So for non-specific clay shooters, so those of us who do everything else, it comes down almost to personal preference. Um, basically, you're going to see a lot of people shooting with yellow and more and more people shooting with red or pink. Basically anything with that red tone to it. Um, this was actually inspired by, or I bought these lenses for my best pair in the back, uh, just this week. 
um, based off of uh, Steve Anderson's podcast, uh, That Shooting Show. You can look it up online. I'll put a link in the description, too. Uh, his video, was, or not video, his podcast was talking about you can't buy improvement except these couple things. Um, I found that entertaining because uh, this is such a gear-heavy sport, and a lot of people try to buy improvement. Um, spend more money on the more expensive gun, the more expensive ammo, the more expensive belt, holsters, etc., 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 thinking it's going to make them better. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you could hand a bone stock M&P to Jerry Mitchlick and he'll outshoot you shooting the most tricked out STI or total custom uh, custom gun out there because he is that good. You know, the, pretty much a stock gun is going to be faster than most beginner shooters or even intermediate shooters are. So what Steve Anderson said, one of the things you can buy to help improvement is red tinted glasses. He said that's an immediate um, improvement. Obviously, like I talked about in your vision, it said you will see improvement day one in how you see and thus how you shoot and thus how you score. Um, fortunately, safety glasses, like we said, they can be inexpensive to very expensive. This pair is somewhere in the middle back here. Um, the first practice match, Wednesday night shoots, uh, two stages. Um, I'm not going to attribute it at all to the glasses, but I, it was the first time my name was ever at the top of the list uh, for production. So that was awesome. And also a couple of our very good production shooters, uh, our local masters, <laughs> were not there that night. Or actually, no, we're shooting in a different class, so that kind of opened the door for me too. Um, but I felt really good about that. Um, Anyway, they did make a huge difference. Um, the yellow glasses do as well, but again, from the reading I did, those red tinted glasses um, do it just that much more. And they even say, even in sunlight, wear those tinted glasses. Don't worry about the sunlight. Wear, wear a hat to, to cut extra glare and only um, go to those sunglass style safety glasses in absolutely no shade, pure sun because um, your vision will just be so much better with these tints. So last thing, when you're picking out your safety glasses, instead of having four different pairs taking up a bunch of space, you can get one pair with interchangeable lenses. Um, I actually don't remember where I got these, or rather my dad got these for me a while ago. He just said here in this case, and it came with clear lenses and uh, sunglass lenses. And as I said, I just bought the... Uh, Vermilion is what they call this color, this pinkish red. Um, Ten bucks for the replacement lenses on Safety Glasses USA. Um, brands Uvex. They're not the most expensive by a long shot, but they're pretty much a gold standard. This, I think this was actually like the military kit because it's got like your webbing stuff on there and whatnot. So it was a nice little kit. I don't know how much the kit cost. As I said, my dad gave it to me. Um, but the lenses were only $10 shipped so that was cool um so yeah just all that information try to put it in one place from when i was looking stuff up hopefully that helped you out um give it a try uh, it's cheap enough to go to your local sports uh, sporting goods store dicks or gander mountain or field and stream whatever you got by you you know th I, these are my girlfriends um god i think these were less than ten dollars as well um but she always like the red glasses as well so she got those from the get-go that's it uh quick video safety glasses some info there um hopefully learn something uh if you got any questions as usual comments or email me directly all the information is in the description below and like share subscribe have a good rest of your day thanks for watching